mildew. In the last years, I collected snow globes. They sit on the mantle, a hollowed flying buttress hanging over my head as I sleep. And there is a trap door just behind. My skull would be crushed. Or I'd need a panic room and a penny to play with. Or a hideaway in a home invasion. I'd toss my things or rip holes in my shirts and then take scissors to blank sheets of paper and trim off the edges and wave them all in front of my face like a shredded fan. I can draw scales from the corners, little bumps. It'll do. Mountain. Cartoonish fantasies. I'm prostrate, centered on a mountain's tip, the place of impact, my gut, just above the stomach, below the sternum. It pushes through, emerging at the center of my back, displacing my thoracic spine cratering my chest and my belly, carving new space, Marie condoing my core, but in the same breath, moving in. Image. I wear tight shorts. I have to go. I stole these. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I promised myself I'd find a surrogate, an outlet. Gut feeling. Tiling a mosaic, you call a ghost for his company. Check on your floor. Look down. You'll see his toenails, and your feet will drag his pubic hairs back into bed with you. For begging, he answers. For boating, a charge, a choking. To buy in. To buy it. Nobody's above it. And stretching away. To be velvet clad. Black velvet. Black leather. Black shoes and a black tie. And big square black sunglasses. The black jacket. To have seen that guy, 
and to have lost interest oh so quickly. Still, to be stuck on him, a clown, yes. Then, to be her instead, but to be velvet clad, yes. Black velvet and black leather, her black shoes and a silk black bow blouse and the big square black sunglasses, the black jacket. The staying up past midnight, all the double espresso and this passive aggression, all this begging for guidance and your admonition. But you're stroking the velvet while I file away my research. I eavesdrop while we talk and store a facsimile of my observations away on my face. I'm learning authenticity. I won't know what it means. So I'll just hope you're meaning to tell me. Car ride. When he stands with his hands in front of his crotch, like a soccer player before a free kick, he's performing deep thought. He calls me self-indulgent and refutes opinions and facts by restating them. You can be cutting. New album. Something about the normative. Closer to defaulting. Solution building. Deeper is your heart. Bottomless. Like WebMD or Quora. No asking for opinions here. No, not for you. It's never about you. I spoke words today with love and trust. I'm coming out the other end. You've been waiting. I never asked you to. And that's a kind of asking waiting for the rapture, funding a lifestyle, not an education, and that's a promise. What lesson today? What's new? What's going on? How are you? On defense, riding, writing, gallivanting. And this one must be for you. Now this lifetime must be for you. And this new breath must be for you. Scarred scarlet, finding peace. Making belief. Running. The normative, the default state. I reach. And deeper is your heart. Deeper is your heart. Deeper is your heart.